Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to create button navigation view in Android Studio using Kotlin. So without wasting the time, let's get started. Let's create new project, empty view activity, click next. Here we are trying for bottom navigation view sample project. Okay click finish so here here instead of constraint layout I'm changing this to relative layout because I'm familiar with the relative layout and this text hello world we don't need it and change this also relative layout ok now First we need one we need one frame layout okay and the match parent okay let's create one ID for frame layout frame layout okay now here is one error so delete this now you can see here frame layout is in end screen so now let's do one thing let's create button navigation view com dot google dot android android dot material dot bottom navigation dot button navigation view click here width match parent height will be wrap content let's close it so now you can see it came on the top here on the design view you can see it is on the top you can do one thing we can make it bottom parent bottom so you can click here make it through now see this is came to the down down side and what we need now we need one id for this also let's create id bottom navigation view so we need a menu here to display on the bottom navigation view so we are going to create menu so first we need to create menu directory under the resource directory so I will click on the resource directory, new, android resource directory, resource type make it menu, click ok. Now here you can see menu directory created, now we need menu file. So you can type bottom, navigation, menu okay click okay okay bottom navigation menu is created so now let's go to split now let's create menu here let's create item android id let's create one id for uh, the home fragment okay so the first one will create a home fragment android layout layout width let's say wrap content and again android layout height wrap content now we need a title android title is equal to as game home and we need one icon also android icon so we'll come back to our icon okay we'll create one icon and now let's close the item before we continue we need to create one icon so let's go to drawable right click new go to vector asset click here on the clipboard now type 
Um, so here choose the one home icon and click OK. If you want to change the color, you can change it to white and give white color. OK. Next, finish. Now we are going to create a home settings and categories. Okay. Now click again new vector image asset. Click here. Now let's go category category icon. Click OK. Next. Finish. One more we need vector asset. Click here. Go to settings. Type sorry type settings. Settings icon. Click OK. Now click next finish. So we have here baseline category, baseline home, baseline settings, three icon. Okay. Now for the home, we can create a drawable baseline home icon. Okay. Sorry, here layout underscore. And this one we can add it to our string. So that warning also gone. Now we can copy this one and paste below two times. Okay. First one change the home change the home fragment to category fragment. Instead of home icon also change to category icon. String also change to category. Okay, and here you can add to string from here itself. Click OK. Now this one we can give it to settings fragment. Instead of the home, let's give it to settings icon. And the string title also settings. And add it to string resource directory. Or you can add from here. Okay. Anyway, now we have the menu, menu with the home category settings. Now let's go back to activity main. In the button navigation here, you can add a menu. App menu is equal to menu, button navigation menu. See now you can see our button navigation menu is appeared here. Our title and icon get home category settings. So it's done. Now what we need? We need uh, we need fragments. When we click on the home icon, supposed to come here home fragment. And when we click category. We need category fragment to be called here and when you click settings, settings fragment to be called there. So to do that one, we need to create, you will click here, create some fragment. Click new, come back to your fragment, click fragment blank. Now instead of blank, change to home fragment, click finish. Okay, home fragment created here. So it will create the home fragment Kotlin file plus the layout home fragment home activity layout also. Okay. So the same way we can create all the required fragment for our project. Click blank fragment. This time we need category fragment. Again, we need one more. Settings fragment. Okay. See here we have home fragment, settings fragment, category fragment, Kotlin file. Also corresponding XML file in the layout. Okay, let's start from home fragment and split 
and we can give hello instead of hello fragment we can call home here and we can give the background some color okay to know the difference okay i'll give this color okay and gravity make it center okay and text size make it 45 sp okay now it is in the home and settings okay here so you can basically you can configure here based on your requirement so i'm just showing to show the difference i'm just giving like this okay settings home settings and category so you can do one thing you can copy these two items display it, put it here instead of the blank fragment we are giving category deleting this one if you want to change the background so you will feel the difference Okay. <coughs> so that's it. That's it in the fragment. Now we need to code on the main activity dot kt. Okay, open it. And here we can create private let init var binding equal to activity activity main binding so it's not coming here so let's go to the gradle file so here in the build type we can do one thing, we can create here one build features open and close the curly bracket inside here view binding is equal to true then sync the project ok it is synced successfully now come back to here Sorry, here is we have spelling mistake. Now it's came okay. Error gone. Now we are what we will do? We'll delete this one, or even if you can put it comment here for save for save, and we'll go binding. Is equal to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator ok then set content view is equal to binding dot root that's it now we need to replace the See here, let's go to the here the fragment layout. Still, it's it's showing the full screen, taking the full screen. So we need to do one thing. Click here above bottom navigation. Okay, now it's it's above the bottom view. Okay. Now what I'm trying to say now, whenever we click each fragments, home category and settings this frame layout area need to be replaced appropriate fragment so what we need to do we need to create one function here function replace fragment you can pass fragment
fragment and close curly braces can import the fragment class okay now we can create a fragment manager is equal to support fragment manager again fragment fragment transaction we need a fragment transaction fragment transaction is equal to fragment manager dot begin transaction tender fragment transaction dot replace r dot id dot frame layout my fragment this fragment should be this fragment now again fragment transaction dot commit as it for coding so now we can call binding dot bottom navigation view dot set on item on item selected listener okay on item selected listener here we can call we can use when when it dot item id open and close curly bracket here we can say r dot id dot home fragment which we created sorry id dot home fragment which we named in the menu xml file so we can use this operator and we can call replace fragment function we can pass the fragment home fragment here again this one we can okay now the error is gone now let's copy the this line and type two of times here now instead of home fragment we have sorry category fragment and replace this two category fragment this one okay category fragment this one now again change this to settings fragment here also instead of the home change to settings settings fragment okay now we finished our codings and here when the app is open first time so we can call replace fragment to so initially when the app is loading it will be home fragment on screen okay now let's we will clean the project okay let's close everything here and rebuild the project Okay, it's rebuilt it successfully. Run the project now. Okay, see our project is running successfully. Okay, you can see home by default as we have mentioned. It is the default fragment. So let's click on category. Yes, it's moved to category. Now it's in settings. Okay. So button navigation view is working fine. I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching.